Molecular Gastronomy, Wikipedia Article Audio Molecular gastronomy is a sub-discipline of food science that seeks to investigate the physical and chemical transformations of ingredients that occur in cooking. Its program includes three areas, as cooking was recognized to have three components, which are social, artistic, and technical. Molecular cuisine is a modern style of cooking, and takes advantage of many technical innovations from the scientific disciplines. History Precursors Evelyn G. Halliday and Isabel T. Noble Belle Lowe of Iowa State College Marie Antoine Carami Objectives Current Objectives Original Objectives Examples Example areas of investigation Eponymous recipes As a style of cooking Chefs Techniques, tools, and ingredients People Restaurants Subjects the term molecular gastronomy was coined in 1988 by late Oxford physicist Nicolas Curdy and the French INRA chemist Herva Copyright This. Some chefs associated with the term choose to reject its use, preferring other terms such as multisensory cooking, modernist cuisine, culinary physics, and experimental cuisine but they often confuse molecular gastronomy and molecular cooking or molecular cuisine. There are many branches of food science that study different aspects of food, such as safety, microbiology, preservation, chemistry, engineering, and physics. Until the advent of molecular gastronomy, there was no formal discipline dedicated to studying the chemical processes of cooking in the home and in restaurants a euro as opposed to food preparation for the mass market. Food science has mostly been concerned with industrial food production and while the disciplines may overlap with each other to varying degrees, they are considered separate areas of investigation. Though many disparate examples of the scientific investigation of cooking exist throughout history, the creation of the discipline of molecular gastronomy was intended to bring together what had previously been fragmented and isolated investigation into the chemical and physical processes of cooking into an organized discipline within food science to address what the other disciplines within food science either do not cover or cover in a manner intended for scientists rather than cooks. These mere investigations into the scientific process of cooking have unintentionally evolved into a revolutionary practice that is now prominent in today's culinary world. The term molecular and physical gastronomy was coined in 1988 by Hungarian physicist Nicolas Curdy and French physical chemist Herva Copyright This. In 1992, it became the title for a set of workshops held in Eris, Italy that brought together scientists and professional cooks for discussions about the science behind traditional cooking preparations. Eventually, the shortened term molecular gastronomy also became the name of the scientific discipline CO created by Curdy and this, based on exploring the science behind traditional cooking methods. Curdy and this have been the CO directors of the molecular and physical gastronomy meetings in Eris and had considered the creation of a formal discipline around the subjects discussed in the meetings. The American food science writer Harold McGee, was invited for the first workshop. After Curdy's death in 1998, the name of the Eris workshops was changed by this to the International Workshop on Molecular Gastronomy N. Curdy. This remained the sole director of the subsequent workshops from 1999 through 2004 and continues his research in the field of molecular gastronomy today. University of Oxford physicist Nicholas Curdy was an enthusiastic advocate of applying scientific knowledge to culinary problems. 
He was one of the first television cooks in the UK, hosting a black and white television show in 1969 entitled The Physicist in the Kitchen where he demonstrated techniques such as using a syringe to inject hot mince pies with brandy in order to avoid disturbing the crust. That same year, he held a presentation for the Royal Society of London in which he is often quoted to have stated. During the presentation Curdie demonstrated making meringue in a vacuum chamber, the cooking of sausages by connecting them across a car battery, the digestion of protein by fresh pineapple juice and a reverse baked Alaska a euro hot inside, cold outside a euro cooked in a microwave oven. Curdie was also an advocate of low temperature cooking repeating 18th-century experiments by the English scientist Benjamin Thompson by leaving a 2 kg lamb joint in an oven at 88 degrees C. After 8.5 hours, both the inside and outside temperature of the lamb joint were around 75 A degrees C, and the meat was tender and juicy. Together with his wife, Junikerti, Nicholas Curdy edited an anthology on food and science by fellows and foreign members of the Royal Society. Herva copyright this started collecting culinary precisions in the early 1980s and started testing these precisions to see which ones held up, his collection now numbers some 25,000. In 1995, he also has received a Ph.D. in physical chemistry of materials for which he wrote his thesis on La Gastronomie Mola Copyright Colère et Physique, served as an advisor to the French Minister of Education, lectured internationally, and was invited to join the lab of Nobel Prize winning molecular chemist Jean-Marie Lane. This has published several books in French four of which have been translated into English, including Molecular Gastronomy, Exploring the Science of Flavor, Kitchen Mysteries, Revealing the Science of Cooking, Cooking, the Quintessential Art, and Building a Meal, From Molecular Gastronomy to Culinary Constructivism. He currently publishes a series of essays in French and hosts free monthly seminars on molecular gastronomy at the INRA in France. He gives free and public seminars on molecular gastronomy any month, and once a year, he gives a public and free course on molecular gastronomy. Herva Copyright This also authors a website and a pair of blogs on the subject in French and publishes monthly collaborations with French chef Pierre Gagner on Gagner's website. Though she is rarely credited, the origins of the heiress workshops can be traced back to the cooking teacher Elizabeth Caudry Thomas who studied at L.E. Cordon Bleu in London and ran a cooking school in Berkeley, California. The one-time wife of a physicist, Thomas had many friends in the scientific community and an interest in the science of cooking. In 1988 while attending a meeting at the Ettore Majorana Center for Scientific Culture in Eris, Thomas had a conversation with Professor Hugo Valdra of the University of Bologna who agreed with her that the science of cooking was an undervalued subject and encouraged Curti to organize a workshop at the Ettore Majorana Center. However nothing happened until Curti met the French physical chemist Herva Copyright This, both approached the director of the Ettore Majorana Center, physicist Antonino Zicicci who liked the idea. They invited the food science writer Harold McGee to join them as invited CO director of the first workshops in 1992. Up until 2001, the International Workshop on Molecular Gastronomy N. Curdy was named the International Workshops of Molecular and Physical Gastronomy. The first meeting was held in 1992 and the meetings have continued every few years thereafter until the most recent in 2004. Each meeting encompassed an overall theme broken down into multiple sessions over the course of a few days. The focus of the workshops each year were as follows. 
Examples of sessions within these meetings have included The idea of using techniques developed in chemistry to study food is not a new one, for instance the discipline of food science has existed for many years. Curti and this acknowledged this fact and though they decided that a new, organized and specific discipline should be created within food science that investigated the processes in regular cooking, there are several notable examples throughout history of investigations into the science of everyday cooking recorded as far as back to 18th century. In 1943 the University of Chicago Press published a book titled Food Chemistry and Cookery by the then University of Chicago Associate Professor of Home Economics Evelyn G. Halliday and University of Minnesota Associate Professor of Home Economics Isabel T. Noble. In the foreword of the 346-page book the authors state that, the main purpose of this book is to give an understanding of the chemical principles upon which good practices in food preparation and preservation are based. The book includes chapters such as The Chemistry of Milk, The Chemistry of Baking Powders and Their Use in Baking, The Chemistry of Vegetable Cookery and Determination of Hydrogen Ion Concentration and contains numerous illustrations of lab experiments including such things as a distillation apparatus for vegetable samples and a pipette for determining the relative viscosity of pectin solutions. The professors had previously published The Hows and Whys of Cooking in 1928. In 1932 the academic Bell Lowe, then the professor of food and nutrition at Iowa State College, published a book titled Experimental Cookery, from the chemical and physical standpoint which became a standard textbook for home economics courses across the United States. The book is an exhaustively researched look into the science of everyday cooking referencing hundreds of sources and including many experiments. At a length of over 600 pages with section titles such as The Relation of Cookery to Colloidal Chemistry, Coagulation of Proteins, The Factors Affecting the Viscosity of Cream and Ice Cream, Sine Resis, Hydrolysis of Collagen and Changes in Cooked Meat and the Cooking of Meat, the volume rivals or exceeds the scope of many other books on the subject, at a much earlier date. Bell Lowe was born near Utica, Missouri on February 7, 1886. She graduated from Chillicothe High School and then received a teaching certificate from the Kirksville State Normal School in Kirksville, Missouri. She also received a Ph.B. and an M.S. from the University of Chicago. In 1957, Lowe received an honorary Ph.D. from Iowa State College. In addition to experimental cookery, she published numerous articles on the subject of the science of cooking. She died in 1961. According to Herva Copyright In the 2nd century BC, the anonymous author of a papyrus kept in London used a balance to determine whether fermented meat was lighter than fresh meat. Since then, many scientists have been interested in food and cooking. In particular, the preparation of meat stock a euro the aqueous solution obtained by thermal processing of animal tissues in water a euro has been of great interest. It was first mentioned in the 4th century BC by Roman Apicius, 1987, and recipes for stock preparation appear in classic texts and most French culinary books. Chemists have been interested in meat stock preparation and, more generally, food preparation since the 18th century. Antoine Laurent de Lavoisier is perhaps the most famous among Thema Euro in 1783, he studied the processes of stock preparation by measuring density to evaluate quality. In reporting the results of his experiments, Lavoisier wrote, whenever one considers the most familiar objects, the simplest things, 
it's impossible not to be surprised to see how our ideas are vague and uncertain, and how, as a consequence, it is important to fix them by experiments and facts. Of course, Justice von Liebig should not be forgotten in the history of culinary science and stock was not his only concern. Another important figure was Benjamin Thompson, later knighted Count Rumford, who studied culinary transformations and made many proposals and inventions to improve them, for example by inventing a special coffee pot for better brewing. There are too many scientists who have contributed to the science of food preparation to list here. A Euro Herva copyright this, 2006. The concept of molecular gastronomy was perhaps presaged by Marie Antoine Carami, one of the most famous French chefs, who said in the early 19th century that when making a food stock the broth must come to a boil very slowly otherwise the albumin coagulates, hardens, the water, not having time to penetrate the meat, prevents the gelatinous part of the osmosome from detaching itself. The objectives of molecular gastronomy, as defined by Herva copyright this, are Looking for the mechanisms of culinary transformations and processes in three areas. The original fundamental objectives of molecular gastronomy were defined by this in his doctoral dissertation as. However, this later recognized points 3, 4, and 5 as being not entirely scientific endeavors, and has since revised the primary objectives of molecular gastronomy. New dishes named after famous scientists include. The term molecular gastronomy was originally intended to refer only to the scientific investigation of cooking, though it has been adopted by a number of people and applied to cooking itself or to describe a style of cuisine. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the term started to be used to describe a new style of cooking in which some chefs began to explore new possibilities in the kitchen by embracing science research, technological advances in equipment and various natural gums and hydrocolloids produced by the commercial food processing industry. It has since been used to describe the food and cooking of a number of famous chefs, though many of them do not accept the term as a description of their style of cooking. Other names for the style of cuisine practiced by these chefs include 1992 A Euro First Meeting, 1995 A Euro Sauces, or Dishes Made From Them, 1997 A Euro Heat in Cooking, 1999 A Euro Food Flavor A Euro How to Get Them, How to Distribute Them, How to Keep Them, 2001 A Euro Textures of Food, How to Create Them. 2004 A Euro Interactions of Food and Liquids Chemical Reactions in Cooking, Heat Conduction, Convection, and Transfer, Physical Aspects of Food-Liquid Interaction, When Liquid Meets Food at Low Temperature, Solubility Problems, Dispersion, Texture-Flavor Relationship, Stability of Flavor how ingredients are changed by different cooking methods, how all the senses play their own roles in our appreciation of food, the mechanisms of aroma release and the perception of taste and flavor, how and why we evolved our particular taste and flavor sense organs and our general food likes and dislikes, how cooking methods affect the eventual flavor and texture of food ingredients how new cooking methods might produce improved results of texture and flavor, how our brains interpret the signals. From all our senses to tell us the flavor of food, how our enjoyment of food is affected by other influences, our environment, our mood, how it is presented, who prepares it, etc. Gibbs A Euro infusing vanilla pods in egg white with sugar adding olive oil and then microwave cooking.
named after physicist Josiah Willard Gibbs, Vaucalin A Euro using orange juice or cranberry juice with added sugar when whipping eggs to increase the viscosity and to stabilize the foam, and then microwave cooking. Named after Nicholas Vaucalin, one of Lavoisier's teachers, Bama copyright A Euro soaking a whole egg for a month in alcohol to create a coagulated egg. Named after the French chemist Antoine Bama copyright. Avant-garde cuisine, culinary constructivism, cocina de vanguardia a euro term used by Ferran Adria, emotional cuisine, experimental cuisine, forward-thinking movement a euro term used at Grant Acats s alinea, kitchen science, modern cuisine, modernist cuisine, which shares its name with a cookbook and which is endorsed by Farron Adria of El Bulli and David Chong, Molecular Cuisine, Molecular Cooking, New Cuisine, New Cookery, Nueva Cocina, Progressive Cuisine, Techno-Emotional Cuisine a Euro term preferred by El Bulli Research and Development Chef Farron Adria, Technologically Forward Cuisine, Vanguard Cuisine, Techno Cuisine no singular name has ever been applied in consensus, and the term molecular gastronomy continues to be used often as a blanket term to refer to any and all of these things a euro particularly in the media. Farron Adria hates the term molecular gastronomy and prefers deconstructivist to describe his style of cooking. A 2006 open letter by Farron Adria, Heston Blumenthal, Thomas Keller, and Harold McGee published in The Times used no specific term, referring only to a new approach to cooking and our cooking. Chefs who are often associated with molecular gastronomy because of their embrace of science include Heston Blumenthal, Grant Akats, Farron Adria. Josa Copyright Andra Copyright S, Set Baines, Richard Blaze, Marcel Vigneron, Sean Brock, Homero Cantu, Michael Carlson, Wiley Dufresne, Pierre Gagner, Adam Melanas, Kevin Souza, and Laurent Grass. Despite their central role in the popularization of science-based cuisine, both Adria and Blumenthal have expressed their frustration with the common misclassification of their food and cooking as molecular gastronomy. On December 10, 2006 Blumenthal and Harold McGee published a statement on the new cookery in The Observer in order to summarize what they saw as the central tenets of modern cuisine. Farron Adria of El Bulli and Thomas Keller of the French Laundry and Per SE signed up to this and together released a joint statement in 2006 clarifying their approach to cooking, stating that the term molecular gastronomy was coined in 1992 for a single workshop that did not influence them, and that the term does not describe any style of cooking. In February 2011, Nathan Mirvold published The Modernist Cuisine, which led many chefs to further classify molecular gastronomy versus modernist cuisine. Mirvold believes that his cooking style should not be called molecular gastronomy. The Dictionary Definition of Molecular Gastronomy at Wiktionary